Hello again and welcome to the second talk. Uh, now what do I mean when I say a piece is in C major? It can be a passage can be in C major. Let's just have a look. This is probably something you know. Now if I take all of the notes of this piece and put them it's a bit like taking all the words of a paragraph from a newspaper and putting them into alphabetical order. What I'm going to do is just take all the notes of Silent Night and put them in the order they come, but without any repeats. And then I get this. Now I put these in alphabetical order, so to speak. I start with the lowest and just go up. There's no secret about that. A scale of C major. And uh, so this is one piece of evidence, but it's not enough yet. I need to have, I need one more thing. When we get to talk about harmony, we'll have something else as well. But there's one more piece of evidence. The piece ends on a C. Well, that's enough for me. I can say, quod erat demonstrandum, this piece is in C major. So I have a Christmas carol in C major. I can either put it up an octave, but I could also put it up just one whole tone into D major and play the carol in D major. The piece is completely recognisable because the intervals are the same, the rhythm is the same, and the only thing that is different is it's slightly higher than it was when it was in C major. So that's all for today. A couple of exercises before we go. So please play Silent Night. I'm sure you know it. Please don't look at any music. Pick it out by ear. We start in C major on a G. And then do the same thing in D major, please. So that'll be all for now. And I look forward to seeing you at our third talk.